Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I, um, I'm i being called to use the flash deck for this reading. Um, checking in behind the scenes or really whatever the divine wants us to know, okay? Um, this reading is for the collective, so you know you can be any sign for collective readings, okay? Um, if something pulled you in from a title of a video, there's something in it for you. But just take what resonates, leave the rest, you know, don't try to force it, okay? And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, um, the awesome comments that you guys give me, <laughs> the nicknames. I love you guys. Yeah, just a, a helpful tip, you know, when you watch tarot, you have to understand we, uh, readers out here, we're picking up on collective energy that's like, thousands of people's energy out there all right and um, we're reading the energy really is what we're reading okay most of us out here don't even need the cards to do a reading okay um we use the the cards as a guide it, it helps us talk to the divine okay but um yeah it, we we never know who the reading is for and when you watch a video you know if you're watching the video and you're like you know this isn't making sense like, I don't know, this doesn't, what? You know, like, who are they talking about? Chances are the, the, the reading isn't for you, okay? So you can, you know, click off at that point and, and, and go on through the titles and see what resonates with you, what feels good, what's, where you're being led to look, okay? Um, so, you know, we just don't want you to force everything in. You know what I mean? If it's not resonating with you, you'll probably know okay um and just go with your um go with your intuition right use your your discernment with all the videos out here in tarot land okay all right so and um thank you again everyone you guys rock i love this soul tribe okay divine what messages do you have for the collective today messages for the collective oh boy messages for the collective oh boy <laughs> so far it looks pretty good i've got to say um uh, yes okay so i'm i'm hearing under my umbrella ella right um rihanna right that's the song that i'm hearing so basically what this is telling me is you know what you've been a loyal follower on this path okay you've been being uh, this is being spiritually led um this is being loyal okay and this is being under the cover of of divine protection under their umbrella all right so i feel like you have divine protection because you've been loyal on your path um I feel like your spirit guides are with you with the duck picture that I saw on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I love flash readings, guys. So, but yeah. So the divine is saying you're under the umbrella of their protection um, because you've allowed the divine to lead you on this journey. You've had faith, unwavering faith. You, you've known this whole time through everything that you've been through that the divine is with you, okay? Um, leading you, guiding you, right? Giving you downloads. The, the divine has probably given you more clarity than anybody else who has hurt you from your past, okay? Um, I feel like you've got a lot of options coming towards you here. Open doors. Um, uh, somebody here feels like a butt, okay? Someone feels like very, very foolish, very very foolish and scared um i feel like this person is there's a masculine energy it could be a feminine but i feel it's a masculine um who is really afraid that you're gonna get snatched up by somebody else yeah because this is divine feminine energy they were very uh, they could have been verbally abusive for some of you they could have been physically abusive with you in the past yeah, they don't want to do that anymore. They don't want to do that anymore. This person could have chosen an abusive situation instead of a divine feminine here. 
This is a Divine Feminine card, the sweet one, okay? Um, and they're afraid here that you're going to get somebody new. I feel like they don't want, uh, they, this person has treated you miserably in the past. It was either verbally abusive or um, it could, for some of you, not all of you, um, could have gone. Well, it's emotional abuse as well. It could be physical abuse. I feel like this person, if they are in an abusive situation, whether it's emotional, verbal, physical, they want to leave that behind. Um, I'm feeling this panic here now off of this person, like they don't have any time left. Press for time. Time is of the essence, right? Um, they feel very rushed, under pressure, um, because you're about to have somebody new. The divine is blessing you here. Oh, something just flipped up. Is it this? Yeah, I feel like this person has been on this uh, a toxic loop, actually. In an abusive situation, or maybe that's the kind of people that they've chosen. Okay? Or you can reverse the roles on that if you want to. Um, it's up to you. So reverse the roles if you need to. But I feel like this person feels like a fool. Um, they got stuck in a, in a toxic situation. Yeah, they're being shown um, many things here. I feel like they're getting a lot of downloads. Yep, they're getting a lot of downloads. This is a world card because of this map in the background. Um, that they need to close cycles. They need to start learning their lessons here. They need to start putting in the work. And, and the, the, the number one thing that they have to do, one, is realizing what the heck is going on, okay? They need to take responsibility and accountability for the things that they've done, the part that they've played in all of this, okay? And I feel like um, they need to do the inner work here, they need to speak their truth and take some action, leave this toxic situation behind or any kind of abusive behavior. They need to reach down inside. And if, if they've been abusive, they need to heal from some things. Hurt people hurt people. I keep saying it in my readings, man. You know, anybody who hurts somebody needlessly, um, out of ego or projecting usually they're projecting okay I'll keep it a hundred with you I'll keep it a buck they're usually pro projecting the things that they hate about themselves onto somebody else okay so um, this person could have been abusive or they could be um, used to abusive situations or they chose something abusive over you, okay? And I mean, it could be just emotional abuse, mental, uh, mental abuse, verbal abuse, okay? And they're learning their lessons from that so they can close out the cycle. But in order to get the world card, you have to put in your effort. And there's a, there's a lot of things that this person needs to do before they come towards the divine feminine okay you're being spiritually protected because you listened you listened to what the divine wanted you to do and you did it and you you know um you didn't hem and haw over it and you did you know what i mean yeah this person i feel like they're scared they're scared to walk away i feel like there could be some codependency issues here too i don't know um you know, sometimes when people are in a traumatic experience, I don't know, what do they call it? Is it, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I don't want to get it wrong. Is it Mun, Munchausen syndrome? Where they, they um, what is it? It's, um, it's like where they start feeling good in a, toxic situation I think it's almost like self-sabotaging to the extreme I think okay I I have to google it but um 
yeah, they're kind of, a, they're afraid to leave this. Maybe it's because they're used to toxicity and making a change to something healthier for them. That would be a big step. Because this is really what the divine wants for them is a healthy, this, these two, this is um, a perfect soulmate connection, um, for lack of a better word. Okay, uh, it's it's respectful, mutual respect. Each person is independent in their own right. Okay, but they work together as a team. Um, you know, they're there for each other. They're loyal to each other. They're committed to each other. They're solid. You know, they can be best friends and lovers, that kind of thing. Okay, um, this is what the divine wants for this person. They don't want them in any more toxic, um, verbally abusive. See, yeah, toxic. That's this. That's that. The apple. I'm also feeling like this person gets tempted by toxic people. Maybe they have, um, uh, you know, uh, they choose situations for passion and lust or money over love. And then they get stuck and they don't know what to do. Look, there's like this little bug, a little gnat. Um, this person could be getting watched. You could be dealing with a Pisces. What I see here with this goldfish is that, um, they, yeah, they could even be chasing after like all that glitters is not gold, right? Um, I just feel like with, the, with this fish, it always tells me they don't know what direction to take. They're scared. Um, they are scared, but the light is being shed on things. Maybe they're afraid of secrets coming out. Somebody's secrets are being exposed here. And I feel like maybe that's why they feel stuck is because whoever they've been with in a toxic situation has something over their head. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. They're holding something over this person's head because they're fearful that their secret is going to be exposed. Yeah, ooh, they don't even want me talking about it. This flew on the floor. I'm not going to take it, but yeah, they don't even want me talking about it. They're mad. They, I feel like they're angry because they're stuck in this situation. And they're afraid because... Um, yeah, the something somebody's holding something over this person's head, okay? I don't know what it is. It has to do with money. Or maybe that's this person is realizing, too, that um, they have to stay in a situation that's just about them providing, maybe, for someone else. Because if the secret gets out, it could really cost them a lot. It may even cost them their freedom, okay? Like this jail that they feel like they're in may be better off um, than them going to actual prison. It, it could be that bad of a secret. Because it is keeping this person stuck. And I feel like they know that they're um, spending a lot of money on this. It's very, very toxic. They realize it. What is getting, man, it, it, and it's cold, there's no passion, there's no warmth, there's not even any friendliness with whoever they chose over you, okay? They're not even friendly with each other, okay? Like, this is ice cold, okay? There's no love, there's no friendship, there's no nothing. This person is being forced to stay in the situation Provide for somebody else financially, all because something is being held over their head. A secret that they do not want to get out. They're mad. They're really, really, really mad. Okay, yeah, there's a sneaky snake that just wants money. I saw the snake in the bread. See, this is who they're dealing with, too. They, at any time, this crazy karmic i feel like you know this is somebody with a mental health issue 
This is a segmented personality. It's like one, one minute, they're fine, they're proper, everything is cool, right? Maybe even um, acting like everything is normal to the community. And then the next minute, this person freaks out. Whoever they're with is just an unpredictable mess. Okay, and I feel like if they have a, a mental issue, it's only getting worse, not better. And um, yeah, this is somebody who could be very embarrassing in public as well. So this secret, if this secret comes out, I feel like it will go public. And whoever they got with is crazy enough to do it. And so, yeah. That's why this masculine hasn't come forward yet. Because they don't want they don't want the secret being exposed, but they do not trust the person that they're currently with because they're fake. This is a fake individual. Oh my gosh. And right underneath that was the other fake individual. Yeah, this is making your person sick. Somebody could be putting something in this person's food as well. I've picked up on that before as well. I, I just feel like they're getting sick over this. So this masculine could be suffering now from some health issues. Well, they're trying to hide things, right? They're trying to hide things. They're living a lie. They're pretending every day. But on the inside, they're angry and scared. And that, um, that could create some health issues. Okay, especially the longer that they stay um, in that situation. It could literally create some health issues, okay? That's how health issues manifest, is from harboring um, those darker energies inside of us. You know what I mean? So this person needs to heal. They need to break free from this. They're dealing with somebody who's very fake. If you notice, um, let's talk about this one first. Look at the body language already. I feel like even the children, if there's children involved in this um, relationship here, um, they don't even trust this karmic, okay? They don't trust this person. Look at, look at how this, this little girl is guarding herself with her school books, pulling away from this, from this individual here. They don't even trust them. And in this picture... Um, I feel like this is that um, public appearances, right? This karmic is very fake. It's a fake relationship. This masculine is living a lie. The karmic is living a lie. This has all been set up here. This is a photo shoot that was planned out right down to the color of her sweater. Okay. Two seconds before this picture was snapped, she was probably screaming at this little girl. They said, say cheese, right? And she snapped it. She made the perfect smile. You know how I know this is fake, though? Look really close. Nobody brings baguettes to a picnic with kids. Nobody. Nobody. All right? So they're dealing with a fake karmic um, who has a mental health issue, who could be very verbally, mentally, emotionally, and possibly physically abusive, okay, who is holding something over this masculine's head that could ruin their reputation or, for some of them, even put them in jail. They're living a lie. They're trying to post things on the internet that make them seem like the perfect couple and everything is happy and everything is perfect, you know? It's all fake. It's all fake. And the karmic wants to keep this masculine there because they provide for them a lot of money. Okay? There's money. We're talking about money here. And this karmic doesn't want to let this masculine go. So what do they do? They threaten to tell their secrets to the community. All right? A possible very toxic secret. And that leaves your person really upset. 
because they want out of the situation. They don't want to be there anymore. All they can think about is you and you getting away and being in the arms of someone else. All to protect this secret, whatever the secret is. Okay, yeah, and the karmic is just happy. Happy, happy. I feel like that's how the karmic feels. I got him right where I want him, the karmic says. Yeah, little do they know. This is only temporary. Okay. Ooh, yeah, see, here's that secret. Here's the secret, right? Whatever this masculine has hidden underneath this rug. All right, so what is the secret about money? Money. So maybe it was something that they did to try to make money. It could be, I'm hearing, possible. It could even be something like insurance fraud. It could be something like they may have, um, I don't know, something toxic. Um, it could be something like um, a bad investment. It could have even been a setup. I'm just looking at this and the way this fake individual is staring at me here. And there's that little bug. Yeah, it could have been a setup. Yeah, but they tried to make it. Yeah. And, and this karmic just keeps pulling this masculine back down a path that literally leads to nowhere. This is somebody here. Um, it's like they, they just keep pretending and just hanging on to this masculine for money, pretending, hanging on to this masculine for money, and then treating them like total crap while this masculine is there. Let's not forget, um, it's a very cold situation. There's no passion, not even a friendship, and um, they're not treating this masculine well at all, okay? And they're taking their, look, it's all being exposed here, man. And I feel like your person is being told, hey, look, um, you need to do something about this or it's going to become permanent. Yeah. Do something about it or this is, you're going to be stuck here in this toxic situation, man. I feel like they need to ex they need to expose themselves just to get out away from this karmic. Okay? They need to expose their own secrets. They need to reach a point where they're like, "You know what? I don't want to be here anymore. You go ahead and say whatever you want." You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, some of it could even be lies or exaggerations on the actual truth of what this person is trying to cover up. Give me one more for the collective. Because I feel like that's what, the, that's what you did, Divine Feminine Energy, right? I feel like Divine Feminine, you just let people say whatever they wanted to say. You know, if they weren't going to be there to support you, if they weren't going to treat you right, if they weren't going to be um, res respecting and um, um, loving the love that you gave, right? Respecting it and knowing its value. You know, you let people say whatever they wanted to say. I feel like at some point you were like, you know what, I don't even know these people anymore anyway. <laughs> You know, your masculine has to get to that point. They're scared, but they're letting that fear hold them back. And the truth is what's going to set this person free. So I feel like that's what the divine wants them to do is, you know what, um, expose themselves, you know. Yeah, make it so that they're an open book. And I feel like that's the only way that they're going to get free is with the truth. Yeah, there's two people here, two karmic energies. They could be sisters, but I usually ignore the writing, okay? 
These are two people who plan, plot, strategize to do bad things to other people. These are the two worst people in this deck. Okay, they're dark feminine energies working together. This could be two exes from your person's life, could be family members, could be the, the karmic and maybe a, a close friend. Okay, I can, I'm kind of getting the sense it's a karmic and possibly another ex from their past. Man, I'm telling you, the divine is saying, cut these people out. That's dark, toxic energy. You have no idea what's about to happen. This is the most unstable, unpredictable place you can possibly be. The high school bully table, okay? Yeah, they're making this masculine take a look at everyone around them, all right? Um... They want to, they, they're trying to break this masculine free from this toxic cycle. Like fast. I can feel it. I can feel it. They're, uh, the divine is really pushing this person to tell the truth. To just let the truth fly, man. You know? Like throw everything up in the air and let the chips fall where they may, baby, just to get out of there. That's, you know, that's what the divine is saying. You got to get out of there. This is the last place you want to be, okay? Get away from these dark people. Cut, cut everything out and clear out that energy. Yeah. Meanwhile, divine feminine, you're protected. You've done your work. Your, your new options are coming in for you. Um, whether that's you know options and like uh, opportunities for work, options in love, um, new people coming into your life. Okay. One more. Oh yeah, they're gonna be look. If this masculine doesn't get themselves unstuck from this situation. They're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. A whole lot of trouble. Okay, this isn't good. This is the school office. Okay, now, I don't, I don't know how you feel about it, but um, I don't care how old or young you are, whatever age you are, whether you're a parent or a student, if you get called to the school office, you know there's trouble. <laughs> Okay, they don't call you in there to congratulate you for stuff, all right, or to thank you for anything. No, no, no. There's always an issue. When you get called to the school, when the school office calls, there's a problem. If you're a student and you get called to the school office, oh, crap, you've done something wrong. Okay, so I'm telling you. Um, the divine is warning this person, if you do not get out of the situation, you're headed for nothing but trouble. You're headed for trouble. Okay? Yeah. So get out of there. We're talking about the divine masculine here. So they need to go. They need to go, collective. Okay? The divine is trying to get them to cut out this toxic situation and toxic people you know speak their truth and get out of a toxic situation okay all right so let's see what this masculine wants to say to you because i know that they're panicked um they're they feel like they need to get to you as soon as they possibly can okay um but Man, they're really angry and upset where, about wherever they are. There's a, hold on, there's a stray card in the deck. We've got to find it and read it, you guys, okay? A stray card. Deception. Yeah, they're being shown. They've been deceived. They've been deceived by a couple of um, dark feminine energies who are holding something over this person's head in order to keep them in a situation so they can keep providing the money. I'm looking for a sign from you that you still care. This is what your person wants to say to you. 
I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, they don't know if they should if they can approach you or not. Okay? They don't know how you feel about them. I didn't want to, but I had to give you up. I feel like it was because of this karmic, okay? I'm so attracted to you. The timing just wasn't right for us. I don't know if I believe in soulmates or twin flames, but if I do, you are my twin flame. I've realized, so sorry, Collective. Um, I think I was on this one, right? I, I've realized that I want you, and I don't want to be a player anymore. All right, what does this person want to say? Thank you. I don't want to lose myself in this relationship. I feel like that's all, that ship has sailed. Um, they've already kind of, they're already losing themselves in the toxic situation that they're um, feeling stuck in, okay? I'm ready to be in a serious, committed relationship with you. Uh, I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. I know that I crossed the line with you, yeah. Yeah, Collective, they did cross a line with you, but here's the thing. I feel like you're, you're doing all right. Um, you seem happy. You've got new opportunities opening up for you. You're on a spiritual path. You're very spiritually protected right now under the Divine's umbrella, Ella Ella. And um, I feel like um, I, I just get the sense that you just keep moving forward. You know what I mean? You just keep moving forward. I mean, what else are you going to do, right? You've got a life to live. Um, and this person, you know, the divine is trying to wake them up. They're, they're, um, they're showing them everything. And this person knows they've got to, they've got to do something about this. But, um, you know, I don't know what else to say. The divine is telling them if they don't do something about it, they're headed for big trouble big trouble. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Like and subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.